Hi, yeah. So this is the ones where it's, it's good to know. <sighs> you can't just do it on your calculator, I guess, because um, there's kx bit. So I've got, I've got tan kx is minus one over root three, but it tells me I've got a solution of sixty degrees. So it tells me that x is sixty. So it's a bit cheeky, but I can put that sixty in there. So instead of kx, I've got k times 60. So I've got tan of 60k is equal to minus 1 over root 3. So if I do the inverse tan of minus 1 over root 3, the 60k comes out as minus 30 degrees. Now, let's have a look. Does it tell us where we're looking for in there? So it doesn't tell us where to look, does it? Uh, hmm. Let's have a look. So if I get my calculator, well, actually, the one thing I know about tan is that it goes on, it kind of repeats every 180. So if I know that tan of x repeats every 180 degrees, if I add on, so it says find a possible value for k. So I just want to put down some solutions. Hmm. So if I add on 180, so I could have minus 30. If I add on 180, I've got 150. If I add on 180, I've got 330. And I can keep on going. Now I want a value of k, don't I, which is positive. So if I divide through by 60 now, I've got minus a half. I've got two and a half. And I've got, I think I've got five and a half there, haven't I? There. Now the question says. Uh, where k is a constant, k is greater than zero, find a possible value for k. So there might be more than one, but if I choose a positive value, so as k is greater than zero, I'm going to say that my k value is 2.5 there. And that kind of gets me that. Uh, stay with justification whether this is the only such possible value. Well, no, because... I could have 5.5, and I could have the next one along, which is at 8, and the next one along at 10.5. No, it's good up in threes, isn't it? So the next one along would have been 8.5, and the next one 11.5. Because the graph repeats itself 180 degrees, every 180 degrees. That's when the next one would happen. So part B is a no. Because... repeats itself every 180 degrees. So each one of those would give me a new k value. Right, I'm stopping there. There's some some ones there I could tell you go at. The long way and the short way. So we'll do some in class as well. Okay.